common practices that we see in our area. Well, again, thanks for giving us some insight on that as he kind of highlighted some of the options and opportunities to protect both our soil and our water quality. The voice that you were listening to was Ryan Temperley. He's an agronomist with Ross Soil Service. And Jim Wynn is the president of the Lafayette Ag Stewardship Alliance and also a dairy producer. And Jim, I know that you certainly practice what you preach and have implemented some of those practices that Ryan was talked about. But could you be more specific and talk a little bit about what you are doing on your farm and what you feel has been the most beneficial? Sure, I'd be happy to, Mike. I, I'm sure if you've ever been in Lafayette County on the eastern part of the county, you know the topography of our land down here. We, we got rolling hills. and uh, Yes, you do. <laughs> it, uh, it can cause some struggles for us, but uh, we've contoured strip for years. Try to get, you know, get away from it there for a little bit, just, you know, with the simple reason, uh, you know, this big machinery is getting harder and harder to get around these contour strips. But after a year of, uh, you know, you know getting uh, taken off some strips, we could see that that was not the way to go. So with everything we uh, operate is a contoured strip. But uh, I think our biggest advantage, uh, 